I'm an educator in STEM Cafe. Today I'm going to tell you what we can do in STEM Cafe. STEM is an acronym that means science, technology, engineering, and math. In STEM Cafe, you can explore different science concepts by interacting with activities and projects and science experiments. You can pick different competencies by doing these things in fun ways. You can use craft materials and things around you to make science projects. Our career of the day is chemical engineering. Chemical engineers are involved in the design and development of new products from raw materials. Chemical engineers use their knowledge of chemical properties and reactions to transform materials from one state to another. For example, making plastic from oil. Chemical engineers can work in almost any industry assisting in the production of innovative high-end products such as ultrasound fabrics. Now let's talk about fun facts. Fun facts about air. Fun fact number one. Air has no color or smell. Fun fact number two. Air is the Earth's atmosphere. Fun fact number three. Air around us is a mixture of many gases and dust particles. Fun fact number four. Air is a clear gas in which living things live and breathe. Now let's go to our magic cabinet. Welcome to my magic closet. We're going to be grabbing the materials we need for our science experiments. Remember, all these materials are reusable, so don't throw them away because you might want to use them to explore different science projects. If you need help handling any of the materials, call an adult. Let's grab our materials. Meet me at the workstation. Today we're going to be doing another science experiment called drum roll. Water fountain. Have you ever seen a water fountain before? We're going to make our own water fountain out of basic materials we can find in the home. The materials we need for our water fountain experiments are gold, a marker, a pair of scissors, a balloon, food coloring, this is optional, glue gun or a glue tag, a bendy straw, a funnel, a cup, a bottle with a narrow neck and a cap, and clean water. We're going to be exploring different science concepts in this experiment and they are air pressure and force. As big as the world is, do you think it's completely full of vacuum? What do you think is contained in the vacuum, in the space, or in an empty room? How heavy or light do you think air is? Why do you think the air you blow from your mouth when you breathe out inflates a bag almost without stress? We're going to find out today with this water fountain experiment. Step one, get your bottle and with your marker, carefully make a mark almost at the bottom of the bottle. Carefully use a pair of scissors to make a hole at the back, big or small enough for the structure. You can get an adult to help you. Now, put the straw, the smaller end of the straw, into the hole. And you can hold it down with the blue tag or the blue one. 
next step, get the ball, turn the straw off, place your ball to the inside. Now we need to pour the water. You can use a cordial to carefully put the water inside the bottle. Carefully turn your straw down and observe that when you press it, the water comes out. That is because you are applying force to the bottle. Also, when you try to open the bottle gently, the water comes out. And when you close it, it stops. Why? Because as you open it, air from the surrounding enters into the bottle and pushes the water out to make a fountain. Also, let's try to do this with a balloon. We're going to try this out using a balloon. You blow the balloon by breathing out. And when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. And you breathe in oxygen. So when you blow the balloon, of carbon dioxide. So let's blow the balloon. Now, can you guess what air is inside the balloon? Carbon dioxide. Carefully twist the neck of your balloon. Open your bottle carefully. Remember to let your straw face up. Then fix the neck of the balloon into the neck of the bottle. Do not unroll yet. Try to take out the remaining water from this. And then untwist. The air from the balloon rushes out and pours the water out of the bottle, thereby making a fountain. When you stop, it stops. When you release it again, it stops. Then, once that is done, try to remove the balloon carefully. And with the air still inside the balloon, you can see that the balloon stays inflated. And when you release it, it goes in. So carbon dioxide is inside the balloon that was used to push out the water from the bottle through the straw to form a fountain. And that is caused by the air inside the balloon. Air pressure. The air inside the balloon was used to push the water out of the bottle through the straw to form a fountain. Remember, you put an air into the balloon by blowing into it, breathing out, putting in carbon dioxide into the air that was useful to form the fountain. Now, did you see the power of air and the power of force? First, we are able to open the bottle and allow water to pass through because air particles from the surroundings pass through the cup, cover of the bottle to cause the fountain. Secondly, we are able to bring out the fountain also by pressing the bottle, applying force onto the bottle to create a fountain. And thirdly, we are able to use the air inside 
balance to push the water out of the bottle through the straw to form the fountain. You will notice that when the water is below the mark of the straw, it doesn't flow. When it's above, that's when the force can push out the water to form a fountain. What do you think causes the water to rush out of the straw when it is a balloon? What do you think causes the water to rush out of the straw when you press the bottom? When you use the balloon, the air in the balloon pushes the water out of the straw to form a fountain. That is air pressure. Press the bottle, applying force to the bottle, causing the water to rush out of the straw. Let's see how much you can explore. What other system in your environment uses the principle air pressure or force? You can do this experiment at home, upload your videos and tag Step Cafe on our social media platforms and let us know how much you can explore the water fountain experiment. See you next week. Until then, keep exploring with your hands. You can follow us on our social media platforms for more engaging content, projects, and experiments.